All right, Shalom. All praise going on unto Yahweh, Bashmi Awa Shai, Bashem Rakak Wadash, double unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. This is another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And I have an article here from uh, CNN.com. And his headline, uh, tornado, uh, Tornadoes, Blizzard, and Historic Wildfire Conditions. This weekend's triple threat. And uh, this is the, the day, Thursday, April 12, 2018. All right. So basically what we have here is a forecast of uh, a different types of major weather to hit here in America, Babylon the Great. And uh, as prophecy states, all right, the Lord said that he was going to start doing these things, you know, with these different crazy weather patterns during the time of the end, all right, in the uh, last days, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this scripture here, all right? This is uh, Isaiah 29 and 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited, all right, um, thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. All right? So this is exactly what we're dealing with here. Um, as it says, this coming weekend, all right, you've got a different types of wedding patterns. All right? You've got the fire. You've got the storms and tempests. All right? You've got tornadoes. All right? You've got snow. Okay? And it says historic wildfire conditions. So this is uh, history in the making here. But the Lord said that he was going to start doing new things in the earth that was never seen before. All right. So the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shah is definitely getting ready to uh, literally rain judgment upon America. All right. So I'm going to get into the article that says uh, spring is a season of change and typically brings some of the wildest weather across the United States. This weather is spawned from a clash of air masses as warm as warm and humid air begins to creep north from the Gulf of Mexico, while bitter shots of cold air continue to drop in from Canada. All right. It says, uh, uh, it says this year spring hasn't seen much of a show. A good portion of the eastern and central and central U.S. had a cool March and April had begun similarly. Rather than the bout after bout of severe storms that we frequently see during the transitions of seasons, March and April have had wild weather in the form of snow and record low temperatures. That's true. All right, it was certain, you know, certain places in the Northeast that got down to 20 degrees where it more than likely would have been, you know, a good maybe 50 degrees. But it's been highly wild, man, you know, different. Okay. I'm going to keep reading. It says, as any ba uh, baseball fan across the Midwest and Northeast, numerous early season games have been canceled or postponed due to the snow and cold. Even the Chicago Cold, uh, Cubs' home op uh, opener on Monday, the last in the league, was moved to Tuesday thanks to a couple of inches of snow. All right. So this is uh, some heavy weather patterns here, man. But it's all you have a shot, shot, like I said, man. Because he's bringing judgment upon this world for his wickedness, all right? That's why it says that the Lord shall visit the earth. Because he's ending this place, okay? He's ending America. He, he's ending the rulership of the so-called white man, all right? That's why he has prophets out here prophesying uh, um, uh you know, the different news, you know, through the news, you know, through the scriptures, different events to warn mainly the Israelites, uh, the uh, so-called blasphemy of the Native Americans about what's coming. OK, but they're not repenting. They're running around the world doing what they want to do, not listen to the spirit, you know, playing games and, 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 and uh, worrying about themselves and not worrying about the conditions and the lifestyle that's getting ready to um, be brought upon them because it's not going to be the same old get up in the morning, go to work, come home, weekend, have fun, visit your family in the spring and summer. No, it's not going to be like that anymore, man. Things are changing. Okay. The world is changing and it's the Lord doing it. Okay. 
Uh, so let me keep reading. It says, all of that is beginning to change as warmer air builds over the central U.S. and the vigorous system takes shape and moves east out of the Rockies on Thursday night. The system will form a cocktail of extreme weather. With critical fire danger in the southern plains, severe storms in the Mississippi River Valley, and heavy snow for the northern plains and upper Midwest. All right? Um, and this is what we're dealing with. So I had I have one of these scriptures pulled up. Let me see. It might be here. Uh, right. And like I said, the judgment of the Lord is the one that's bringing these things. Okay. So I'm going to read a scripture from uh, the book of um, the Wisdom of Solomon, the Apocrypha. All right. Now I'm going to start at 15. Okay. It says, but it is not possible, but it is not possible to escape thine hand. So the hand represents the power of the Lord. And it's not possible to escape from the Lord because he's everywhere. He's an omnipotent power. And he's an omnipresent power. Okay. Able to be everywhere all at once. That's the power that Israel serves, Yahweh and the son Yahweh Shai. Okay? Now I'm going to keep reading. It says, For the ungodly that denied to know thee, which is two thirds of Israel here in America, and, and the rest of the people here in, 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 um, in America outside of the United States. Okay? They're the ungodly, you know, the wicked and the heathen. All right, and the wicked of uh, the so called blasphemers and Native Americans, two thirds of them, they did not know the Lord. All right, so the Lord is going to bring upon them the same thing that he brought upon ancient Egypt. And he said that. He said that he's going to smite Egypt, which is this new spiritual Egypt. He said he was going to smite it with plagues as before. Okay, so, so it's going to be plague after plague to hit this place. And this is just the beginning of sorrows. All right, you got to understand that too. That Yahweh Shai said that when you start seeing things like this, all, all, all of this is the beginning of sorrows. You find that in Matthew, the 24th chapter. All right? But I'm going I'm, to I'm read for, uh, verse 16. It says, for the, ungodly, uh, for the ungodly that did not to know thee was scourged by the strength of thine arm with strange rains, hails, and which hails is a... a, a is a storm of uh, ice and snow. Okay, it says, and, sh and, and showers were they persecuted that they could not avoid. And the people, they can't avoid these storms, man. Okay, these things are coming. All right, you got a winter storm. You got severe storms. You got fire danger. All right, you got tornadoes, blizzards. That's what's coming. And, and that's this weekend. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go back to the scripture. I'm going to keep reading. It says, with strange rains, hails, and showers were they persecuted that they could not avoid, and through fire were they consumed. So, you know, you're getting, you know, um, uh, hit with um, uh, snow and bombarded with hail in one part of the country. And then in another part of the country, you're getting hit with rain and lightning and, and tornadoes. And then a whole other part of the country, you know, you're getting hit with fire and the forests and houses are being burned down. All right. So this is the same spirit that's coming here to America right now. All right. That's that triple threat. And that's the triple threat of the Lord. Matter of fact, while, while I'm, uh, I'm on it, I'm going to get a uh, second Ezra. Uh, the 13th chapter. Okay. No, it's like it. Second Ezra is the, uh, 16th chapter, all right, because it talks about a, a triple threat. Well, this is uh, 2nd Edges 16 and 11. It says, The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? Okay, all right, so uh, the Lord is getting ready to beat you people in the powder, man. Okay, and he's in and 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 he's threatening you with this triple threat uh, uh, storm coming this weekend, man. That's why a lot of you guys that's been game playing, uh, the Lord could very well hit you with this type of judgment, man. Hey, the scripture said that it's going to happen to the ungodly. 
And, and you, hey, you're being ungodly. So this is what's going to happen here in Babylon. The Israelites are going to be destroyed, the two-thirds of them. But the elect are going to be delivered. Okay? All right? Um, all right? So let me go back here. It says here, right? It says uh, historic fire danger. Okay? It says, as an extensive storm system develops over the Intermountain West and pushes east, a significant multi-day fire threat. Hey, the Lord says it's going to threaten, right? It says, a significant multi-day fire threat is in place from the southwest into the central and southern high plains. Thursday marks the second day of the danger and comes with extreme critical fire conditions, the highest threat level lasting into Saturday. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, it says an outbreak of severe storms likely. Now it says slightly farther east, the warming conditions will be accompanied by moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, as, the, as the cold front pushes east Friday, thunderstorm development. Right now, didn't the scripture say in uh, uh, Isaiah twenty nine and six, "Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder." All right, so we're going to have these thunderstorms take place, okay? It says, uh, as the cold front pushes east Friday, thunderstorm development is expected from eastern Kansas, south in the east Texas. This storm system will pack quite a punch, all right? The hand of the Lord, hey, it's your hand that issues out a punch, right? It says, as there's a lot of energy in the middle and upper levels of the atmosphere, all right? So we can expect a lot of chariot sightings, you know, before these things hit majorly and even after, okay? Because a lot of chariots, they get involved in these um these uh storms, all right? This is a uh, blizzard conditions expected, all right? So you got the wind, the storms, the thunder, the fire. Now you got the blizzard and the snow, all right? It says, yes, this weekend marks the middle of April, and yes, Heavy snow is still in the forecast for the northern plains and upper Midwest. All right. It says on the northern side of the storm, frigid air will filter south from Canada where the air meets moisture. We will see yet another blast of April snow. And you can see the images and things here. Okay. In these um, pictures. Okay. So that I made me think of another scripture. Right. This is uh, Job 37 and 9. It says, out of the south cometh the whirlwind and cold out of the north. By the breath of the most high, frost is given and the breath of the waters is straightened. Uh, it's also by watering, he wearied the thick cloud. He scattered this bright cloud. Uh, as it, and it is turned round about by his counsels that they may do whatsoever he commanded them upon the face of the world and the earth. So it's the Lord that's doing all these things, man. And the main point was in verse 9 where it says, Out of the south cometh the whirlwind, which is the tornadoes. All right? And that's why through these different cities, like Mizzou, uh, 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 states like Missouri, uh, uh, Texas, Louisiana, Georgia, you see a lot of tornadoes, man. Because that's the whirlwind in the south. And this is uh, uh, cold out of the north. So there's going to be another April uh, uh, snow Blizzard to hit, man, okay? It's coming, all right? It's coming, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. Uh, and let's just continue to go into the snow. Um, all right, it says, uh, the same strong winds... The same strong winds that threatened to turn brush fires into raging infernos on the southwestern side of this storm system will cause blowing snow and whiteout conditions on the northern side. You can't tell me this not Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And it's these names, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, that's going to be glorified in these times, all right? You can't say it's not the Lord that's doing this, okay? So I'm, uh, I'm going to end it here, right? Uh, let's see. It says, in addition to the snowfall, there will be freezing rain and ice across a broad stretch of the Great Lakes this weekend. I just read that in Job. 
37. How the frost straightens the water. It turns it into ice. Okay. It says, uh, in addition to the snowfall, there will be freezing rain and ice across a broad stretch of the Great Lakes this weekend, adding to treacherous travel conditions that will be widespread across the northern tier. This April weather is likely to have many in the north begging to skip spring and head straight into summer. All right. And the Lord says he's bringing these things upon the face of the world and the earth. So that's what's coming, man. You're getting a triple threat of storm from the Lord, man. All right, Yahweh yeah, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, so with that, hope you were edified. Uh, once again, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, by Shemra Kakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well. Peace and blessing to the elect. This was uh, GMS News and Prophecy. Until next time, Shalom.